Church is a business. Hmm. Church na business. But before that one, uh, make we still dive into on top of the trending matter we're concerned that the GO, you know, see, since uh, last week, I mean, uh, this week, that the GO will be uh, a double E on the trend online since uh, after he made a statement of uh, tightening in talk, say, for in previous video, say, anybody will you know, they pay in tight, you know, will make heaven. So now he will sleep over that uh, thing we talk. He humbly asks for forgiveness. But after that, uh, so many other pastors can they react over the matters, most especially Pastor Jeremiah. I can talk say church na business. Make it clear to them. Anyone who is not paying his tithe is not going to heaven. Full stop. I'm going to be apologizing for making a mistake. For saying that if we don't pay tight, you, you might not make it to heaven. I'm sorry, that's wrong. That's not in the Bible. What the Bible says is, is he at peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see God. Very humble, my general overseer, a man of God, yes. Now let's take it back to our politics. If our politicians can ever try this kind of thing. I believe this country, Nigeria, could do better. Let's continue with the video before the video of uh, Jeremiah. Now, let me tell you. Listen to me. You know, it is possible to be right and wrong at the same time. I prove it to you. I mean, I'm a scientist, so I know that. For years, we taught that light travels in straight lines. Now, is that correct? At least those of you who know a little bit of physics will say, sure, but light doesn't bend at corners, it goes straight. But later on, we discover it's not just what, not straight as a rod. Light travels in waves, going one direction, but in waves. It is wrong to limit you to 10%. At a time where some of you should be 20%, 30%, 40%, 10% should be for beginners. Giving should be Violently. Violently. Church is a business. Some people cannot understand how can church become a business. It's the Lord's business. The Bible says, in the time of festival, Jesus was a baby. And the family of Joseph left Jesus behind. When they now left Jesus behind, and they went home, they could not find him. When they returned back to the place, and they said, Son, why don't you follow us to the house? Why you left behind here? He said, Don't mind, it's my father's business that I am humbling here. You can see me. Not me that speak that word. Church is a business. It's my father's business. That healing, it's my business. God sent me in order to do that business. It's a lost business. Oh, yes. So in the midst of hardship, I increased my offering. That's what I did. I increased my what? I increased my offering. And my income increased. From the day I increased my offering, my income increased. I get money. In fact, in the midst of hardship, was when I was getting more money. Because the principle of God cannot be broken, not by even the economy. In the midst of hardship, the boy gave his lunch and it multiplied. The best time to give is now. When? Any hundred thousand naira a month, and somebody's telling you to bring ten thousand, is that person not with you? 
Shen shen le kon yen, shen le kon yen. Oh, you are earning forty thousand naira in this economy. Can you eat? Then somebody is telling you to bring four k out of that. Yahoo, tight. They don't know so they don't buy. My opinion, and I back it up biblically. If Christ don't collect them, nobody got any right to collect them. And right now, no, we don't need churches right now. What have we been with all the offering? We are giving money to God. Have you given money to your fellow man? You don't chop. You don't lam. Want to give money to God? Did they tell you God is broke? Please feed the people on the streets. They never chop. Beggars, destitutes, sick people. Orphans, widows, they're full everywhere. And all carry money go give pastor with their private jets. Say they give them to God. You may know. Tight now, yeah. Feel free to like, share, and comment your mind on top every of our stories. And most important, make you hit the subscribe button today for more to read.